Have you ever tried to buy a game on Steam, only to find out it isn't available in your region, or that the price is way higher than what friends in another country are paying? It feels unfair, right? Steam is amazing for gaming, but the platform locks your account to a specific region, and that affects what games you see, the currency you pay with, and sometimes even the discounts available during big sales. The good news is you do have the ability to change your Steam region, but there are a few things you should know before you dive in. Let's start with the why. Steam ties your region to the billing information you've provided and your current location. That means if you move to another country, Steam expects you to update your account so that your purchases line up with the local currency and laws. For example, someone moving from the UK to the United States would need to update their Steam profile to reflect that change. This isn't just for pricing, it also ensures that games restricted in one country don't accidentally slip through in another. So how do you actually make the change? The process is straightforward, but you'll want to follow along step by step. First, open up Steam and log into your account. Hover over your profile name at the top right corner, and from the menu, click on Profile. This takes you to your profile page, where you can see your current location displayed just beneath your username. Now look to the right side of the screen and hit the Edit Profile button. You'll land on a settings page with a sidebar on the left. Click on General, then scroll down until you spot the Country or Location section. This is where the magic happens. From here, you can choose your new country from the drop-down list. Depending on what you pick, Steam may ask for a state, province, or even a city. Once you've filled in those details, scroll to the bottom and hit the blue Save button. That's it! Your profile should now reflect your new region. To confirm the update worked, return to your profile page and check the location under your name again. If it shows the country you selected, then congratulations, you've successfully changed your Steam region. But before you celebrate too much, let's pause and talk about a couple of important details. Steam doesn't let you freely hop between regions just to chase cheaper games. The system is designed for legitimate moves, not for taking advantage of regional pricing differences. To enforce that, Steam often requires you to use a payment method tied to the country you're switching to. For instance, if you pick the United States, you may need a credit card or PayPal account registered there. Without that, you could run into problems checking out. Another thing worth noting, once you've changed your region, Steam may restrict you from switching again too quickly. This is their way of cutting down on abuse, so make sure you only update your region when you really need to, like after a permanent move or when you're settling down in a new location for an extended period. Why does all of this exist in the first place? It comes down to licensing agreements between publishers and Steam. Different countries have different rules about what can be sold, and game publishers often set unique prices based on local economies. Steam's regional system is built to respect those rules and keep the platform running smoothly worldwide. Now, once you know where these settings live and how they work, you have control. You're not stuck staring at the wrong store or paying in a currency you don't even use anymore. You can align your account with your real-world situation, and that makes the entire Steam experience much more convenient. So the next time you find yourself frustrated by mismatched prices or unavailable games, remember that your Steam profile isn't set in stone. With just a few clicks, you can update your region, save the changes, and step into the version of the store that actually matches where you are.